people ask me, "Hey Bugsy, why don't you? Why are you? Why are you riding? Why are you only riding your TARDIS now? You had you had another you had a, another mode of transportation that was a starship, and you called it the Great the Great Falcon, kind of a parody of the Great Fox when you think about it. And you also had an R wing." And you were part of Team Star Fox. <sighs> I don't like telling this story. It's, it's freaking sad. <laughs> but I guess, like all good stories, this one needs to be told. Well, well, it's, th it's three, I'd say three years ago. Or four, I, sometimes I forget. Four or three years ago, I joined Star Fox. You know, we all used to hang out. We all had our own YouTube, I mean, they had their own YouTube accounts. So, like, so, like, you know, because sometimes I wouldn't even be, like, on the ship, I'd be at home. You know, and Fox and me would be like, I'd be like, hey, hey, Fox, how you doing? But, you know, Fox and I were, were pals. You know, he, you know, I helped him out with certain things. He was the one that actually taught me how to fly in our wing. Back then, I really didn't have any idea how to. I mean, I flew okay. But, eh. But, but, but you know, Fox actually taught me how. I remember it like it was yesterday. A lot of things happen, guys. You know. And then... And this, is, this goes into the fact of the whole reason I don't play matchmaker with anybody anymore. Like, I'll help people find love anymore. Freaking... I, to, I told... I told... I told, I told old Fox to follow his heart. You know, he was, he was trying to get with Kristen at the time. There was a lot of stuff. <laughs> me and, me and Fox, I remember me and Fox, you know, back when YouTube had streams. Because, yeah, they did have their own YouTube accounts. Whether you like to believe that or not, it's up to you. But I remember me and Fox would we'd be flying around in our wings, our, our wings, and we, you know, we we were training. You know, Peppy wanted us to train, and I was like, and I'd be like, Fox, hey, where's Chris Crystal? He's like, he looked, he said, Bugsy, she's with Panther. I'm like, oh, you mean that? You mean that guy that sounds like, oh, oh. hello, Chris. He, he was like, that dude is such a douchebag. And I was like, I agreed with him because, you know, I was like, he's such a tool. You know, you know, me and Fox were cool. And then I met Falco later on. <laughs> Falco. Let's just say when Falco likes to get drunk, he does all, I love you, man. He does it a lot. Yeah, I was like, you know, we don't, because after a mission, we don't all get freaking, get hammered. <laughs> it, was just, it was just stupid, because we, we when we're, when the, like, when the four of us ain't, that's kind of slippy, uh, we're drunk, we talk about stupid stuff. I kind of, I'm kind of diverting to all the happier moments before I start talking about what actually happened. What actually happened to Fox and why I don't use my R wing anymore. And spoiler, and spoiler alert, it's out of guilt. But I want, I want to focus on some happy stuff.
before I, before I delve in, before I delve deep into that. So, Fox and I, I helped him try. I helped him try to get Crystal. And I was like, "Dude, follow your heart, man. Do it. Do it. Do it. I believe in you." I kept saying it. You know, barely Crystal turned him down. And I was like, "Ah, dude, come on." It's like, Fox, it's not a big deal. Come on, man. Let's let's fly around in our wings. Let's let's have fun. You know, forget her. He's like, "I can't forget her, Bugsy." Can't. It was, she was flying around with Panther and everything, and it was just horrible. I've never seen I've never seen Fox really lonely or look lonely as he did then. You know, I tried to say, "Yo, hey, let's let's get drunk, man. You know, let's let's drag yourselves and some some beer." And he's like, "No, nah, Bugsy, you go ahead." I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back into the great box. You wanna, yeah? You know, I'm gonna just go. You, don't, you don't have to come with me. Well, did I know? You know, how Sonic has a dark form. Fox does. Fox did too. I remember. He broadcasts this to every. To every last one of us, wherever we were, I was like, so I get, so I was, so I was getting home after. What was I doing at the time? I think I was getting home from. It was something. It wasn't school. It was something I was doing. Uh, but anyways, that's not even the point. Fox um, said. I also got to meet his dad. He was a ghost. If you could believe that. I got to meet him. Anyways, not even the point. Um, again, I'm trying to get myself off of the messed up thing I had to do. So, Fox said, as a hero, but you all took that for granted. Now, now I'm viral. And he called himself Viral McCloud. I remember, I remember still to this day, he was angry, he was mad, he was depressed, it was all this wrapped in a one, and in the end, at the end of it all, I'm the one that, I'm the one that put him down, I'm the one that killed him, I'm the one that excuse me for a minute folks I, I, I need a minute <sighs> there's a reason I don't fly my heart wing anymore it's basically out of guilt like I said before because I wasn't able to fly it because everything because even looking at it well, I'm si well, sometimes I'm in the garage and I'm looking at it. Because I, I do want to fly, but, but when I look at it, I just, I just see Fox. Right when I killed him. It's like, I remember. <laughs> it's kind of like all my friends who are friends, I usually say, you don't, I don't have to, you don't have to do this. He's like, you know, you know what you have to do. I was like, it's like Fox. I don't want to. Come on, man. We can talk about this. Yeah. I ran him through. I ran through the demon blade, and that was it. That was it. He put up one heck of a fight, though. I I know that. Still to this day. I regret it because I could have helped them. I was, I was the same friend that has kind of a 
same kind of depression as uh, Fox did. And doing everything in my power to help her so she never has to deal with what Fox went through. God. I, I, I really hate talking about this story. And you know, I never shy away from people wanting to know some factoids about me. I feel really, I feel really bad about it. But we did have some fun times. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you know, when Ed, when we when we were going to find Andros, and I was like, he's like, Andros is here. I was like. Foxy wants some help. He's like, no, 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 dude, it's cool. It's cool. You don't need to help me. I was like, seriously, Fox, I can help you. And he's like, no, 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 dude, go have fun. Just, uh, I'll be okay. I was like, all right, Fox, seriously, holler if you need me. <laughs> and I think it didn't help. Around that time, I actually had a uh, girlfriend. I don't know. I, I hope I didn't rub it in his face too much. I don't like to think I did. I don't like to think that's what sent him over the edge. But uh, me and Freak, uh, me and it was uh, usually, you know. Me and Fox and Falco, we just, me, Fox and Falco and Slivery would just laugh about all the, laugh about all the freaking Star Fox parodies that were there, which weren't really that much. We'd laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh. <sighs> I miss those days. <laughs> you know, there was a time where I'd, I'd do anything to get those back. I mean, you, you know, nowadays, if, if I'm, you know, if I'm thinking about it, I use my TARDIS to just, just watch. To remember everything we have, me and Fox used to do. Truly, and that was a hero, of course, was a hero, but he was a hero, and we, and to me, I never took, I never took his friendship for granted or anything. He was my friend, and I let him down. Not the first time I let a friend down that needed me, but this one hurt. This one, sort of, this one hurt a little bit, a little bit worse than every, a little bit worse than a few other. Fights I have with my friends. I heard a little bit more than that. <sighs> I remember the first time. I remember the first time he asked me to join Star Fox. I can re I can recall it well. <laughs> he was like, "Hey, Budsy." You have good piloting skills. I've seen I've seen you fly before. How would you like to join Star Fox? And he, you know, he said that he said that to me. I was like, boy, I was like, I was really happy. Like, oh man, would I? Oh, cool. It was just, it was fun. I, you know, I really, really, I really enjoyed. All the moments I had with Fox and Falco and Slippy and and Chris and Crystal, she was really, really into you into a certain certain thing that uh, fangirls get into, and that's a yaoi. And that's how I found that out. Don't ask. <laughs> Uh, but <laughs> it's my my mental scars. Uh, aside, 
<sighs> I still talk. I, you know, I don't really. I mean, I don't really. I'm not really in contact with Falco as much as I, much as I used to be because when Fo when Fox died, I did take his I did take his body to the rest of Star Fox. They knew what happened. They they saw what I did. But Falco, he looked at me and said. He teared up a bit, and he told me, it's, it's not your fault, Bugsy. Fox was depressed, and none of us tried to help him. It was too late for him. I looked. So he said the exact same thing. And so did Peppy. He, they just looked at me and said, it's not your fault. I cried, I fell, fell out to the ground crying, and, you know, freaking Peppy Pat in the back and said, it's okay, it's okay, Argos, it wasn't your fault, you did what you thought was right, you did what you had to do, because, Fox turned inexplicably evil. I didn't talk. I didn't talk enough about that. He was, he was going to try and bring back Andros, and oh my god, that that's what I didn't tell you guys. I I, I really really hate talking about that because I don't want people to see. Oh, Fox went crazy. He was, he got all depressed stuff he got all depressed and stuff um you know he got all depressed and stuff and went insane and you know I had to take care of him no one else wanted to do it I mean Falco he fought Falco and Falco was shocked because, you know, Falco may act like a douche. An arrogant douchebag. An arrogant douche an arrogant douchebag that can be your friend, but he didn't even want to do it. Oh, and where was Crystal when all this was going down? With Teen Star Wolf. She found out a little later. I don't know whether she hates me for it or not, but she sure didn't. I didn't want to find out. Later, after that, after Fox's funeral, I didn't stay around long. And stay around Team Star Fox long. I left shortly after. From what I hear now, Falco is now the new. He's the new. He's the new one. Um, He's the new cat. He's the new captain of Star Fox. I don't know why they should have called it Starbird or Star Falcon or something. But um, yeah, he's the new. He's the new uh, head honcho. You know, so you know, Slippy every now and again will contact me about something. He'd say. He'd be like, Bugsy, how's it going, man? How's it, how you been? I'd like, I'd be like, and these are like messages he'd, they'd send. He'd send, he'd be like, yo, how's it going, Bugsy? And I haven't heard from you in a while. I was like, hey, Slippy, it's, yeah, it has been a while. Yeah, I'd just, we'd type back and stuff. Peppy, as old as he is, he's still, he's still around. I'm like, is he a, is he a time lord? <laughs> you know, I remember, I remember after, like, when I was, when I was joining Team Star Fox, uh, Wolf actually, Wolf actually wanted me to join, Wolf actually wanted me to join his, uh, his team. And I was like, nope, 
Fox is my friend, and I'm, I'm not going to abandon him. He, he asked me to join, and I joined. Little, you know, it was me and Fox. I mean, through everything that happens, I try to remember the good times with me and Fox. <laughs> us sitting back and watching... Us sitting back and watching Wolf's retarded mission... Yeah, you know, Dex, you know, Dex, I mean, Dexter Manning before making, uh, Saturday Not Included made a little machine called Wolf's Retarded Mission. It was, a, uh, it was, it was, it was set in Super Smash Brothers. I mean, you know, go look it up. It's re it was really, it was really good. What makes me, wa makes me wonder why old, why old Dex hasn't tried to make a new one. But I digress. Yeah, when uh, and the funny part is, he actually quoted uh, "What's the Turn of Vision?" Where uh, I asked him about Crystal rejecting him, and he's like, he's like Bugsy. The, to make a long story short, God is a cruel man. Uh, I, you know, I was I was worried about I was worried about Falco, but it, you know he didn't start turning into viral until like. Oh, a lot of different reasons, but uh, I'm not, I'm not gonna go into those. You know, I should you know, and I just skimmed a lot of the good stuff. You know, a lot of the awesome stuff that me and Team Star Fox used to do. <laughs> Mostly because most of most of the stories involve us doing you know doing a mission, getting drunk. Weird, weird, weird conversations we all have with each other. <laughs> Fox, I know it. Um, us talking to Fox about his uh, love life. <laughs> and uh, just a whole bunch of weird, weird stuff that only, you know, only, only a member of Team Star Fox would talk about. <laughs> God, I miss those days. I miss those days of it, of me being a Team Star Fox member. You know, I still have my old, I still have my old uniform in the closet. Though I never really wear it anymore. It's just like I look at it, look at it, tear up, walk away. That's pretty much it. Um. And oh yeah, guys, I told you this story, not only to uh, answer some questions, answer a few questions, but also to kind of say that I'm sorry that I didn't, uh, didn't do the other half of Saturday morning afternoon. For that, I'm sorry, I, I really, really meant to do a third part, um, but, you know, so, you know, I really meant to do it, but, uh, you know, people wanted to play some Diablo, and they did, and we tried to record around it, but it got really, you know, my cousin and L, L, my other brother, was playing it, and they were like, you know, they were like, you know, talking, going, ah, oh, you gotta do this and this and this, and we're like, oh, we can't record now. You know, so, so instead of me, so I had to cancel the uh, third part. I might do it tomorrow, but it won't be Saturday afternoon. I, I don't know, it'll be like a Sunday thing. Sunday recap! <laughs> or something like that. Um, that's all I gotta say. And people, there is a moral to this. There's a moral to my story. Always, and I mean always, be there for your friend. Don't, and I repeat, do not end up, do not end up like, do not try to make, don't make the same decision I had to make. And trust me, you never, you, you think you can live with yourself? No, you can't, you can't. Remember that. I made P 
peace with the fact that I couldn't save him. But I still, I still wondered, what if I did? What if he was alright? A whole bunch of stuff. But, the moral of the story is, always be there for your friends. Never, and I mean never turn your back on them. Not even for a minute. As soon as you notice them being depressed, do something about it. I don't care what. Do something about it. Hang out with them. Talk to them. Do some jokes. I don't care. You gotta do something. You know? I thought Fugs would have been okay, but a little did I know. He. Little did I know. That's what made him turn into Viral McLeod. Well, that's about it. I wanted to at least talk about this once. And. Rest in peace, Fox. You were my best friend. I wish things were different. I wish I could have helped you. I, I wish that I wish that you were kind of here telling me telling me I was telling me I'm kind of dumb for doing this video. And, uh, tell me I'm still, I'm still sobbing over it, even though it happened five years ago. A whole bunch of stuff you would, you would have probably said to me. Fox, if you are even here, I want you to know. One day, I will come back to, t I will come back to, Star Fox, but until then, but until then, my friend, I'll see you around. See you guys. This has been Bugsy, the hothead rookie of Team Star Fox. Telling you all, see you later. And tomorrow, I'll uh, perk up, but right now, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get ready for Space Dandy and, uh, get ready to watch Space Dandy and, uh, give me something, give me something, give me some water, some soda or whatever, some Coke Zero, and enjoy my night. See you guys later.